Hey, 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 Libra, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a reading for my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully you can get something out of it today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there. Libra, if you would, before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Make sure you're clicking on the link in the description box if you are interested, Libra, as there are many tarot card impersonators running about the community. And know that you'll always see my face in a reading if you order one from me, as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize for as long as you wish. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys. I want to know if this resonates and hit the notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Libra, you have the judgment, the king of pentacles, the king of wands, and the king of cups. Who are these people, Libra? Who are these people? Wow, you got something going on here. You got a little something, something. I feel like, <laughs> Libra, I hope you're ready for a busy, busy love season. They just said love season. <laughs> okay, so tell me about judgment. Wow, you could be going through an awakening here. The Emperor. This is going to set you on your path here. Oh, Six of Wands and the Fool. Somebody is seen in the public eye or being seen for something that you're doing. It could be involving your community. It could be work. Let's see what this is. Or you, it could just be you're getting all this attention and love. That's for sure. Occupation. Okay, so you're doing something that's being highlighted in work and getting a lot of attention here. Hmm. Concern. I feel like you're concerned about something that won't go over well in work. I don't think you need to be concerned about it. Whatever you're concerned about regarding work or something that you're working on, I don't feel that you need to be concerned about it. I feel like it's going to, they're saying, go off without a hitch. Hmm. Okay, tell me about the King of Pentacles. So we have the Five of Wands, the Four of Cups, oh, and the Tower. Okay, this King of Pentacles is stable. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and they're interested in you, but I don't know if you're paying them any attention. I feel like their their interest is surprising you. Okay, because they're in this competitive stage with these other peeps for you. <laughs> Distant horizons. They are very positive, I want to say. They they are very optimistic that this is going somewhere. They're gonna be waiting patiently, very patient. Ooh, poverty. I feel like they see you as, you could be giving off this vibe of this feeling of lack. Not of money, just lack. It could be lack of happiness. Like something's missing and you can't put your finger on it. And this king is picking it up. Hmm. I also feel like this king at times may feel like 
you're not paying him or her any attention. But I do see them fighting for your attention because they're in the midst of this competition for your attention. All right, let's see who this King of Wands is. This could be an Aries Leo Sag Libra, okay? Who is this? Who is this Libra? Who's this fire sign? Six of Pentacles, the world, and the Eight of Pentacles. This could be somebody that you work with. Okay, do you feel that you're going to be juggling a couple of people? If you're not, this King of Wands is. This king could be at a distance. Like I said, you could meet them through work, at work. Let's get a kipper. A courthouse. Oh my God. <laughs> Expectation. I feel like this king may pressure you into making a decision. So I don't feel that you're going to hide if you're dating a couple of people. I don't feel you're going to hide it, but they may pressure you into making a decision. I feel like this king has quite the ego. Tell me about the king of cups. And I don't know if you're going to appreciate that so much. The sun. Hmm. Nine of swords. Ah, you like this king. You like this king. Five of swords. Ooh, all the others are jealous of this king. Mm-hmm. Yep. I feel like this king has your eye. Okay. I also feel like this king may be somebody from a past life here. This could be a water sign or somebody with water in the chart. This is a very happy person. Oh, wealthy man. So this could be masculine or feminine. Great fortune. There's a lot of abundance here with this king. I feel like that's what they're jealous of. These other kings. Ah, that's why. Okay. That poverty consciousness. That king of pentacles. I feel like it's bruising their ego. Because the king of pentacles and earth sign. They're all about stability. So it's like. Battle of the freaking egos over here. But I think that you're interested in this King of Cups. So how do you feel about the King of Cups? How do you feel about the King of Cups? Three of Cups. You have a lot of fun with this King. You recognize this King as a soulmate. Page of Pentacles, you talk to them a lot. Page of Wands, and you're very optimistic. How do they feel about you? The Empress, they see your worth. They see your worth. Ace of Wands, they want a fast beginning. I, I feel like I feel like you're gonna choose this king. Or queen is just masculine energy, but it's going to go fast. This is going to go fast. This person is very passionate about you. Ten of, they're going to commit very, very quickly. They're serious about you. The hermit, the four of pentacles, they don't want to let you go. They've done a lot of reflection about you here. And they know. They just know. They feel the soul connection. And they just know, Libra. And I feel like you're going to know pretty quickly. And that's why these other kings are jealous. Insight. See beyond appearances, masks, cliches, and cultural stereotypes to gain insight. So try to look at things, people, differently. Because I feel like it may shift your perspective on yourself and the situation. And let's get a crystal to see which crystal will serve you best regarding this situation, Libra. Which crystal will serve Libra best? You get two. Red Jasper, nurturing, and Bloodstone, purification. 
So those are the two crystals you should call in during meditation. If you do not have them physically, you can always call in their energy. All right, Libra, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure you're clicking on the link in the description box if you are interested, as there are many tarot card impersonators and scammers about the community. And know that you will always see my face on video and receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. So you have a fantastic day, Libra, and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.